Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tacticians Monday Matches! Oh my goodness, it feels like it's been forever since I did these. But in any case, let's get on. Today's first opponent for Tacticians Monday Matches. These were all recorded, by the way, yesterday from Sunday Night Brawls. If you want to battle me or if you want to battle or so, have your battle featured, just, uh, you know, just, uh, just meet me in my Discord server and, 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 try and ask me for a battle. But in any case, Gonna be starting off this battle against Kaylee. So Kaylee's gonna lead with her um her uh, yeah, SP, SP on a uh, Gudra combo, and she's gonna go for a light screen here. And uh, MP, well, MP is running a very interesting setup. So, so I decided to go in with my Absol and my Meloetta. So I decided to actually go for a little theme here, and all these Pokemon know some kind of song or use their voice in some way, shape, or form, with except into my Rushy Ram Man. Well, actually, with exception to my rushing man. So, I'm gonna start off with a Parish song here, and Kaylee's gonna go for a Dragon Pulse into my Absol, my poor Absol. But, in any case, the Parish song has begun. I've already got my Meloetta in her Pirouette form, I think that's correct. And I'm gonna go for a close combat into the Gudra, thinking maybe I could do some damage, but I did not do a lot of, whole lot of damage. And, well, I kind of pay for my mistake by getting a face full of ice or Psy Shock. So that's going to be the end of my Meloetta. She did not get a chance to show off. But Lunara is going to go in and she's going to kick some butt with her nice slash. going to take down the Espeon before any further, you know, for further reflex or light screen shenanigans come out. And for her trouble, I'm going to lose my Absol Lunara. So that's going to be the end of my two leading Pokemon. The Gudra is still on the field then. Well, I decided that uh, the Paris song is still going on, and so I'm going to bring out my next two. First, I'm going to come out with my Elucio, my... I believe it's... I actually forget it. Forget his... Forget his name. But I'm also going to bring my Aurora out. So Elucio and Aurora are going to be coming out onto the field. So Altaria, there we go. I forgot my Altaria, what I was going to say. Uh, ignore the dog in the background. So I'm gonna go for a sing here. I'm gonna put the sh Shinotic into sleep and Gudra's gonna go for, well, Gudra's gonna go for an ice beam. Gonna take a, my Lucio down to very low health and I'm gonna go for a hyper voice. Take down the Gudra, the choice specs Gudra, or choice specs uh, hyper voice into the Gudra. Brings down the Gudra and that's and Shinotic's just gonna you know, take it. Gonna you know, take a take a little wink off. So that's gonna be the end of the sh end of the Gudra. Now out comes the low pony. Oh my goodness, such a shiny! My, my opponents always have shiny Pokemon. But why do they always get the shiny? Pokemon? But this Kaylee's gonna go for the ice punch into my Altaria Lucio. I'm gonna get the rocky helmet damage down. That's gonna be the end of poor Lucio. He tried his best, but you know what? He never got the chance to show off. So I'm gonna just gotta go for another hyper voice take down the Shinotic. Little Pony is still gonna be sta standing tall with um, like 25% health. And now out comes Kailani. So Kailani is gonna sit out there pretty, and I'm gonna bring out an or Kaylee's gonna bring out another pink Pokemon, a shiny Ampharos. Where, where, where are all these po shiny Pokemon coming from? But in any case, Little Pony is gonna go for a Drain Punch into Aurora. It's gonna take a lot of my a lot of the health back and agility and the Emperor is gonna go for an agility gonna go faster and now I'm gonna go into my Z move I'm gonna go for my Z sing here yes this is one of us the signature moves Kalani likes to use when it comes to my battles so Kalani is gonna go for a Z sing gonna increase her speed and she's actually gonna get the sing off and put the Ampharos to sleep so that's the Ampharos now asleep, and now Aurora is just gonna go for another Hyperverse. Gonna, you know, hit the low punny. Gonna hit the Ampharos. Not enough damage to knock out either one, but now the Ampharos is asleep. So, and well, low punny is gonna go for another Drain Punch into Aurora. So that's gonna be the end of my Aurora. So, put my poor Aurora. She did all she could, but that's the end of it. So down goes my Aurora. And now Kaylani's gonna go for a hyper voice. Now she's now she's mad. She's lost her teammate. 
it's not looking good for me. I'm going to get a critical hit on the low punny, but it's not enough to bring down the low punny. So now I've only got one Pokemon left on my team, and it is the Reshiram. And it's going to be me, Impy and Kehlani, tag teaming to take on Kaylee. So the Ampharos is still taking a snooze. Low punny is going to go for a Thunder Punch into Kehlani. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. I didn't like that, so I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice. Going to see if I can knock out the Low Punny, and I do in fact knock out the Low Punny, but I also knock out the the Ampharos. So that's the end of the Ampharos. Didn't exactly get to do anything, and I'm going to go for a Blue Flare, and I'm going to miss because I got no po no Pokemon to target. And so out comes the Audino. And once again, I'm going to go for another Sync, because you know what? Kehlani likes to sing, so she's going to sing, 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 and put the uh, Dino to sleep. I guess she doesn't like the song. So, and I'm going to go for a blue flare, but I miss. What are the odds? 15% chance I would miss. So, Audino's going to hang around for another turn. But it turns out my opponent forgot to Mega Evolve her Audino. So, Audino's going to come back. She's going to go Mega. It's going to increase her defenses and such, I believe. I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice, see if I can, you know teach this Audino to not be, you know, an Audino. And finally, the Blue Flare actually hits, but it's still not enough to knock out the Audino. This Audino is tanking all my damage. So it's now going to be another turn. I'm going to go for another Sparkling Aria. So I'm going to go for a Sparkling Aria. It's going to hit both me and the Audino. The Audino is still standing. I'm going to go for the for the Blue Flare now to, or not the Blue Flare, the Fusion Flare, there we go. And I'm going to finish off the odd, you know, and that's going to be the end of the battle. Oh my goodness. So that was a pretty, that was a pretty intense battle. It was actually fairly close, closer than I realized it was. So now out comes my next opponent. So this one, I'm going to just say it wasn't exactly fair. Not really fair, but y you'll, you'll get what I mean. So my opponent, Trey, is going to lead with or I'm gonna lead with Kodiak here and he goes for a Gliss he's actually gonna go for Gliscor. I'm thinking it's Gliscor. Yeah it was Gliscor. But in any case I'm gonna go for a uh, Intimidate with Kodiak. Kodiak's gonna sit there look pretty and he's gonna go start out with the Stealth Rocks. So already this is not looking good. I'm not liking this one bit at all. So me and Kodiak we decide you know what we're gonna hit him with a we're gonna hit him with our Z move. So once again, Kodiak is gonna go into a Z move, and that's gonna bam gonna hit with the black hole eclipse. He's gonna go in and into the black hole. The Gliscor goes bam. But unfortunately, it was not enough to knock out the Gliscor. So Gliscor is gonna get his poison heal off. It's gonna get its toxic orb off, and Gliscor is gonna go for a knockoff. Although, I don't think that's going to really work, considering uh, Kodiak is, in fact, holding a Z-Crystal and a Dark-type. So, knockoff is not going to really work. So, Gliscor is going to take some damage. He's been intimidated. Now, he's going to take another... He's not going to actually take any poison damage. He's going to heal it. And he's going to go into an Earthquake into Kodiak. Kodiak is not exactly looking very happy. So, he's going to go into a Crunch. Going to knock out the Gliscor. That's going to be the end of the Gliscor right there. Bam. So out comes Pinsir now. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it could be a, I don't know, it could be Mega Pinsir. So Pinsir is going to go for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go into a Fire Fang expecting something else. So Fire Fang going to hit, not going to get the burn off. I was really hoping for the burn here, but nope, Pinsir is going to, no, going to, going to say nope. I'm going to Mega Evolve, I got my Swords Dance off, and now he's going to come out with the Mega Pinsir. So out comes Quick Attack, I'm thinking, ah crap, that's going to be in Kodiak, and sure enough, that is indeed the end of Kodiak. So Kodiak's going down, I'm thinking, alright, it's time for Balto. Balto needs to go out onto the field. So Balto's going to go out, and he's going to target the Pinsir with an Accelerock. It doesn't matter how fast you are, Balto is faster with his Accelerock. Bam. That's going to be the end of the pincer. So Balto is now on the field. I'm thinking, okay, what's going to be coming out of this low punny? I expect, I thought for a moment it was going to protect or not something else or Mega, but then I realized he Mega did his uh, pincer already. 
So out comes the Z move. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna attack with like a return or something, but he goes for something else entirely, and in fact goes for the Z splash. So that's gonna raise his attack power drastically. I don't know how that how, how splash does so much, but whatever. So I'm gonna go for a Accelerock into the low punny, try to deal some damage before this low punny gets away. Well, the low punny got away. Oh well, the one that got away. So now out comes the Dawn Fan. I'm thinking, okay, this is not good. So I'm gonna go for a Fire Fang, see if I can get a burn off. It wasn't very effective. And Dawn Fan's gonna go for a nice, or not for a nice shot, an Earthquake. So that's gonna be the end of Balto though. Oh, my poor Balto. He could not stand up to the Dawn Fan and the Earthquake. So now I'm thinking, okay, it's alright, it's not over yet. So I'm thinking I'll go into Linda, see if I can do something with Linda. So I thought, okay, he showed off his Mega, now it's my turn to show off my Mega. So Linda's gonna go in, she's gonna start Mega Evolving. I'm thinking, okay, maybe a Mega, no Mega Absol knockoff should be enough to knock out the Dawn Fan. So Dawn Fan gets hit. But, knock out the Assault Vet, but it was not enough to actually knock out the Dawn Fan. So, Dawn Fan is going to go for another Roly Poly action and Earthquake poor Linda into fainting. So, that's going to be the end of Linda, my Mega Absol. So, I'm like, okay, okay. Well, that's not bad. I still have Zygarde. I'm still faster. You know, 10% Zygarde form, it's still faster. But, I forgot that Dawn Fan can learn Ice Shard. Super! Why does Dawn Fan get access to Ice Shard? So that's gonna be the end of Zygarde. So now I'm really starting to panic. Okay, I'm thinking, okay, this is not good. So I'm thinking, all right, it's time to bust out the Furfro. So I'm going down with Furfro, gonna set up a Cotton Guard. This was when I realized I made a huge mistake. I was faster than the Dawn Fan. I should have taken the risk. I should have gone for the Echoed Voice, but I did not go for the Echoed Voice. And let's try to set up the sweep, but with my Metronome Echoed Voice strategy. So, that's gonna actually save me a little bit. I'm gonna go for an Echoed Voice now when it knocks out the Dawn Fan. And I actually get a critical hit, so not sure if that mattered, but I'll take the critical hit. So, now out comes the Swell. So, I'm like, okay, this is bad. Definitely bad. So, Swell's gonna go for a Boom Burst. And that's actually gonna hurt my Furfro, gonna knock me out. Bam! My poor Furfro. I tried all I could, but nothing worked. So, now it comes down to you. You is now my last line of defense against this Swellow. So, Swellow's gonna go for another Boom Burst. So, that's gonna cause you to lose a lot of health. This is when I realized, oh crap, I'm not gonna finish. So, I'm dead, so. Unless Boom Burst somehow magically misses me next turn, there was nothing I could do. So, you was gonna go for a Detect, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can stall out the PP, perhaps try to bring this back a little bit, but so I was gonna go for another Boom Burst, and I think he was in Choice Specs, that's probably the only way, because you is actually careful, or, yeah, I think he's careful natured, or, yeah, I think he's careful natured, so he's got a, a super strong special defense. But, in any case, I tried to go for Moonlight here, but I was not fast enough, and that is going to be the end of that. Oh my goodness, so I'm afraid I, that's all the battles I have to show for you today. I'm happy to be back once again. I'm back. The hiatus of lack of battling and streamings are, are over. Impy the Fedora wearing Rishiram is back, and I cannot wait to battle and so on again. I will see you all next time for Tacticians Monday Matches. Bye-bye! When you've reached the point where you can't go on Just come to me, you'll be safe from harm If you trust in me, then I'll trust in you There's nothing more that I need to do If you put your